If you've been aping into Gala, HBAR or Algorand or for any other cryptocurrency right now, I want to give you a huge, huge warning of something I'm seeing unfolding in the crypto charts right now that maybe no one else is talking about. Before we do that though, hit the like button. Let's get into today's essential crypto content. Now in my Telegram group, link down below in the description, absolutely free. Tons of people in there have been talking to me about investing in HBAR, Gala, Algorand, Hello Token. Tons of great crypto projects out there right now. And the feeling or the overall feeling is that the bear market is completely done. We're just going to buy these cryptos and then it's just to the moon. I'm just buying Gala now and I'm going to wait and get out in a year's time for a 20x. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Well, I have a bit of news for you. That might not be actually what is happening right now. And I want to show you what's happening on the Bitcoin chart so you'll actually gain a bit of an understanding about what I'm talking about. Jumping across to Bitcoin on the one day. Now, you're probably like, why are we looking at Bitcoin? I don't care about Bitcoin. I want to know about Gala HBAR Algorand. We'll talk about those in just a moment. But I want to show you Bitcoin because Bitcoin moves. And if you're not new to crypto, you'll understand this. Bitcoin moves, does aggressive pushes, and then it sort of cools off for a bit. And then you get pushes in altcoins. But when it dumps towards the downside, which it potentially might be about to do, then all the altcoins will follow suit and they'll fall way, way harder because their market caps are way smaller. Therefore, a few sell-offs have a massive implication. Now, what we can see has been happening in this Bitcoin chart is we've been following this trend towards the upside. And what's been extremely alarming for me is while we've been running into the most essential area of trading for Bitcoin, previously this area of support that then flipped into resistance and is now getting retested as resistance. I'm seeing all these like YouTube guys telling you that Bitcoin's about to go to 50K, about to go to a million dollars in June. Now, I could be wrong, potentially, but when we see everyone hyping up markets like this, usually everyone's wrong okay and that is a massive cause for concern because if they are wrong we could be about to see bitcoin roll over from where we are right now and, and start to maybe retest lower levels now whether or not we see ourselves going back down to these levels is obviously a big question but what it means for us and why i'm hesitant now to start diving more into some of the smaller altcoins is because there's a great opportunity on the table if we can be patient and wait for the next thing to happen now if we look into hbar we can see the H bar is now starting to kind of tail off here uh, and is looking like potentially putting in a bit of a bear flag, uh, which is where you have a kind of an area like this. After a big push down, it just consolidates and then it drops again. Now, I'm not saying that H bar is going to necessarily do that. I'm just drawing roughly what might happen. But what we want to be looking for is an area of support where we could be looking to buy an H bar. Rather than just assuming that it's going to follow Bitcoin to the moon, we can think that it's potentially going to stop in this area, which isn't a huge shift down. But if it doesn't stop in this area, then where are we going to get in next? Well, what we can do, guys, is analyze what this did on the way up. And you can see that we have various areas of interest. And here is one there. Why is it interesting for me, you ask? Well, look at the size of the candles in there compared to all of this, right? This shows me that just before this happened, it was at a price that big money wanted to buy at. So where do I put my box? I put it just below that big move here. Now, why am I looking into this zone for H bar? Well, if I wait and I'm patient and H bar gets down there, then I'm going to save 26% on my H bar. And if I put an alert in here, then I know H bars arrive back in there and I can go and buy it. I don't have to pay attention to it every day to know what it's doing. And you're like, well, it doesn't make any difference if you buy H bar in the top box or the bottom box. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you're buying it in the top box, which is roughly where we are now, to this swing high is a 929% rise. On the flip side of things, if you're waiting to the second box down and you can get in there, you get a 12x. That's 300% more for your money than you would have done if you had jumped in earlier. Now, obviously, nothing's guaranteed. And one thing that is sensible to do is dollar cost average and you're like well what does that mean i've heard this banded about dca in dca out well before we look at gala and algorand i want to tell you something significant about bitcoin now bitcoin if you had bought for the very first time at this high sixty eight thousand nine hundred dollars and you would put in let's say ten dollars every week as it did this ten dollars every single week and all the way ten dollars here 
you would now be up you'd be up 10 percent, and you're like how could that possibly be true well it's because during this time we spent a long time here half the time pretty much that we did three here but this basically makes sense so what it basically tells you is even though the market has been like this and we're now sat at 27k when we were once sat at 68k it tells you that the best way to make money in cryptocurrency is select a few good cryptocurrencies of which hbar algorand gala are a few good cryptocurrencies and dollar cost average in if you can only spare a few dollars each week potentially what you want to do if you have a bit more then maybe you could do that and you could spread it into different old coins going forward but dollar cost averaging this is not financial advice by the way just want to be want to make it very clear but the statistics tell you that dollar cost averaging is basically the healthiest and most sensible way to make money in crypto trading unless you are an experienced trader now jumping back to hbar you're probably aware that you know if we get into a full-blown bull market and it's probably not unrealistic that a one dollar h bar is going to happen so from that bottom blue box up to one dollar you put yourself a 23x but from the top blue box up to one dollar then you've only got a 16x and you see how progressively as we go up through the market cycle it's going to make a huge amount of difference where you're getting in lower down and now you could probably be dollar cost averaging in what everyone else tends to do is wait for the pumps and then gets excited and goes and this is fomoing in and this is probably the worst way to make money in crypto because when it starts to fall again everyone sells off i wouldn't be selling off right now if we go lower great news we get a chance to buy lower these great projects going forward and what's been going on in the garland chart i hear you ask well this just looking at it without doing any deep analysis tells me that the garland's going to fall further whether it falls to here whether it falls to here is going to be very interesting but we can see that gala is not looking like it's going to be putting in a high right now you can see it's stiffly rejected this is a lower high so we have a high a lower high this is a downtrend this means that gala will continue down rather than amping up towards the upside which everyone's been waiting for because everyone's like oh bitcoin's gonna to go to the moon it's gonna track every crypto with it how long till gala hits a dollar how long till i make millions of dollars in gala patience is what you need and you need to identify if we go lower where are we going to go and what am i going to do if it happens well one thing you can do and you can see i've been doing this already is draw yourself some nice boxes now you'll probably notice that i have got boxes here and they've already been breached they've gone lower so what well if i jump out to a four hour you'll see that i have more boxes drawn on lower down now this is in the event that it drops below the box above it did that it's now retesting it it looks like it's going to slide further how do i identify this you can see that this huge move came out of this zone then it came back and then we started to move hard out of this zone again this is where i think you'll get a bounce in gala why do i want to buy there rather than now well i get a pullback of what 10 percent and we know just how much difference that makes once you go into the future and these coins are getting more and more valuable and if it slides out of this box well i've got another one slightly further down which means I'll get 17% reduction. You're right, this is kind of countering against the DCAing in. The reason I'm talking about this is if you have been buying right now, then that's probably fair enough. But what most people will do is buy loads now because they'll see a dip and then they'll see it bounce. And they'll be like, that's the bottom. And they'll put all of their money in. So say they've got $100 left for the month to put into crypto. They put in that $100, they've got that bounce. And then Gala does this. And then guess what they've got? They haven't got any more to be able to DCA and bring that price down. You're better off taking $25 out of that $100, putting it in at maybe this level. Then you've got another $25 here. And you've got another $25 here. And God forbid it goes down here, you've got another $25, which drags down your average price and means that eventually when you get that proper bounce, you're good to go and you're going to be flying. And for those of you who love it and you're just here for another Gala price prediction, well, don't worry guys, I've got your back. Gala, huge platform in GameFi. GameFi going to be worth $67.4 billion in 2026. Gala only needs to have a quarter of that to have a massive 100x move. Currently, Gala sat at what, like 5 cents? Easily going to get to a dollar in the next couple of years, in my opinion, not financial advice. And there we're going to be looking at what 21x could we see two dollars 43x i don't think it's unreasonable given that gala has got quite a small market cap right now tokenomics not incredible for gala but i think the space in which it's in is going to see some insane growth and it's well set up for that particular growth going forward passionate community of people but just be patient with it guys if you want to discuss more about gala there's lots of talk with gala in my telegram again link down below and to the last one algorand 
similar story, and you know, you're probably getting a bit bored of me saying this, but we have the opportunity to be able to DCA into these particular projects. Now, I want to talk about Algorand, because Algorand is slightly different. We never saw that aggressive pump from Algorand, and what we are seeing is Algorand kind of slowly sliding, sliding, sliding. I actually think that Algorand is probably going to get back towards this low down here uh, before we see anything significant happening in Algorand. And that from current levels, uh, you're looking at what? Like a 22% discount on where we are right now. Doesn't mean I'm not going to be prepared to buy Algorand. Now, if you've been watching my videos or you're subscribed to my channel, you'll know I've been buying Algorand in these areas through here on the way down. And that's what I'm trying to get you to do. I'm not telling you these coins are going to go to zero. Just don't get upset about that. I'm telling you these coins will keep going up, but we may see further lows coming in. And instead of burying your head in the sand like most people do, you want to get in on those further lows and be able to drag your price down. That's the best way to make money in crypto because then when we eventually get into a bull market and no one knows when that is, trust me, we might have seen the bear market finish. We might not. And if we haven't, then you're going to miss out if you go in too hard too early because back to all-time highs for Algorand, you've got 11x if algorand goes to three and a half dollars you know algorand goes to three and a half dollars which i think is reasonable a 14x but if we wait and we slide down to these lows slightly lower then we can get a 17x to all-time highs and three dollars fifty will give us a 21x the slight differences of buying a little bit lower down each time make a huge difference when we get back up into the bull market and that's basically if you're trading on spot and if you want great fees for trading on spot then go through fairdesk link down below in the description where you can get up to a thirty-five thousand dollar deposit bonus that's absolutely right thirty-five thousand dollars and if you want to trade futures you can also do that here i trade futures on this every single day trading bitcoin ethereum uh, xrp and if you want to learn more about how to day trade these markets and to be able to make consistent money, maybe that's $100 a day, $500 a day or more, then go to my Telegram link down below. At the top is pinned the access link for my premium Telegram, which is just $10 a month, five day free trial. In that, I'm talking every day about crypto coins that I'm seeing all the time, hot picks, as well as that I'm doing day trading tips, I'm covering news events and much, much more. So make sure you get into that link down below in the description. Come across to Fairdesk as well. Sign up here. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.